Hey, I'm Willie. And I'm John. Welcome back to our garden for Grow, Cook, Eat. Today we are going to be showing you how to grow one of my very favorite spring treats, pea shoots. And it has my favorite ingredient salad, which is Pecorino Romano cheese. And I'm going to be making a super simple white wine vinaigrette that you can use on this salad and lots of other salads too. Well, let's get to it, right? All right. So I grow peas for their pods and for their seeds, but I also really love the pea shoots. They're really delicious, they're super tender, and they have a really mild pea flavor. So the pot has a hole in the bottom, and I'm just gonna fill it up with some potting soil here. So I'm gonna fill the pot up, leave about an inch of space at the top so that there's room to water. And then I'm gonna plant the peas. So what I do, this is super technical, I just put my finger and I make little holes every place that I want to plant a pea. So I'm going to make holes all around the rim here and then a few in the center. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drop the peas in. And then just backfill the holes with soil. So it's really easy. So I'm just going to water this in. When you're harvesting the shoots, you just want to pinch back and you always want to pinch back above where there's some new shoots coming out because that's going to be your second harvest. So I'm just going to start pinching here. Pea shoots are also really easy to care for in the container. You just want to make sure that soil stays consistently moist. So I'm going to finish harvesting this and then uh, we're going to pop inside and make some salad to go with our soup for dinner. I'm making a super simple white wine vinaigrette for the salad today. I like to use shallots in white wine vinaigrettes because they're not as strong as garlic, but if you don't have a shallot on hand, you could substitute a clove of garlic. I want to slice the shallot really thinly. Actually, I'm gonna chop it, and I'm gonna use about half of this small shallot. I'm putting the shallot in a jar because I like to make this dressing at the beginning of the week and then use it on a lot of different salads throughout the week, so this makes it easy to just shake it up and pour it over the salad. So I've got the shallot in, and then I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of vinegar, and then three tablespoons of olive oil. I think vinaigrette tastes really good when it has plenty of salt in it. So I'm just gonna take a big pinch of this salt and stick it into the jar. And then you want a fair amount of pepper, so you know, five or six grinds of freshly ground pepper. And then to make the vinaigrette, it's super simple. You just put the lid on top and then give it a shake. So it's a great, you know, simple thing to know how to make. Um, so John's gonna put together the rest of the salad and I'm gonna get some soup together for dinner. All right, so we're gonna dress the salad now. So I take my salad bowl and then I'm just gonna shave the cheese. So we've got the Pecorino Romano here and your standard vegetable peeler. And we just start shaving away. Then once you've got a good amount of cheese or it's to your satisfaction, you wanna go ahead and add the salad dressing, about three tablespoons, and then toss the whole thing up. And if you want, you can add a little bit more cheese just on top. All right, I think we're all set. So I just made vegetable soup. Sounds good to me. I think these greens are really good with just the simple vinaigrette because their flavor is so mild. We'll find out pretty fast. Yes. Mm. Cheese is perfect. <laughs> Mm, it's delicious. All right. Well, that one may have been easy enough for me to do by myself. Yeah, totally. I think pea shoots are so easy to prepare. That's why I love them. They're great because they're ready before the peas. And there's other stuff we can eat that's not officially ready yet, right? Yeah, we've got the turnip greens. Um, they're great. You can harvest them before the turnip roots are ready. And I think that most people just don't realize how much great stuff is in their garden. Well, thanks a lot for coming back. And uh, we're paying attention to your comments on the website and Facebook. So keep those coming as well. Yeah, and we'll be putting up the videos and also more pictures of our garden and other tips throughout the season. So tune back in. See you next time.